Tonight begins with an all-new episode of Pokemon TCG Online. Then, it's an all-new episode of The Legend of Zelda Triforce Heroes. Last time on Pokemon TCG Online, Gyarados attacked Kyogre, Splash Burn! <laughs> Are you kidding me? Regice, resist this blizzard. <laughs> Could someone explain to me how I'm supposed to stop this guy? If his Mewtwo has unlimited recovery, this battle will go on forever. You're just a kid on a quest to be the best of the best. Someday you're destined for power and glory. You know you're up to the test. There's only one way to The Clash of Legends, Part 2! None of his Mewtwo are designed to Mega Evolve, right? So... Just couch. Oh! Yes! I was actually gonna say, I was just gonna calculate how much damage Mewtwo was going to be able to do because, let's see, with five energies plus about, that would be 160, Gyarados. Huh, Gyarados would actually still survive, if you think about it. Because. Was five energies because you have to remember the other um, the other Mewtwo had four on the bench, right? So let's say I got the energy I needed to be able to attack was my Mega Gyarados and uh, essentially one shot his Mewtwo. So um, pretty much the way I look at it. The Mewtwo on the bench had four energies, plus equipping a fifth energy on his next turn, so that would be 30 times 5, that's 150 damage, plus the 10 from the belt, so it's 160. My Gyarados on the bench had 240 HP, uh, minus 70 damage, so 170. So even if he did have a fifth energy in his hand ready to equip to that Mewtwo on his bench, my Mega Gyarados would still survive with just 10 HP. That is the beauty of Gyarados. Alright! Let the Clash of Legends continue! Our next opponent, Grandis Lupus. To be honest, though, that's kind of a hacksy strategy, if you ask me. Using Mewtwo's damage change, it doesn't affect Regice, but damage change still has the effect of removing the damage counters off of Mewtwo. 
Which, if you think about it, it, it's really unfair. What it should actually do is nothing at all. I draw. But instead, Reg Ice doesn't have the power to take out Mewtwo, and Mewtwo can just keep using damage change over and over again. Okay, so... This is a horrible way to start the game. Let me point that out. Okay, so we've got all three unknown in play. Activate farewell letter. Manaphy. Not quite what I had in mind. I don't want to equip any of these items to it, so let's play Shauna. Right, there we go. Now we are talking. We've got Palkin play. Let's start powering it up. Max Elixir. Failed. Okay, Max Elixir again. Success. And I can't activate Unknown's ability, so I will end my turn. Still, Palkia is going... Oh, come on! Why would you do that? Seriously, why would you do that? Professor Birch, come on! Third Palkia. Beautiful. Can't attack. So I just have to hit it that. Oh. failed. That could have been a real epic fail, if you know where I'm coming from. Okay, so, another Palkia on the bench. I want to waste the level ball, just to take a look. Okay, Shaman's in here. We've got a rough seas. We've got Gyarados' spirit lane. With this, activate Shauna. Okay, great. That's why I need Reg Ice. And Max Elixir, come on! Yes! And we're going to revive Unknown. Activate its special ability. Gyarados, useless. Without Gyarados in play. Um. Alright, I'll go for another revive. 
why not, right? If you're gonna revive a Pokémon, you might as well revive Unknown. Only seems fair. So you can knock it out again, right? <laughs> and Trainer's Veil. This seems all too familiar, to be perfectly honest with you. Rough Seas would actually help out main Nectric, so... Not really too fond of using it. I'll take out the Ultra Ball. And... Well, mind you... Well, that's interesting. Let's go ahead and use the Ultra Ball. I was gonna say I don't want to use it, because I'm gonna lose the one and only Spirit Link for Gyarados, but then again, do I really want to send Gyarados out in the first place? Especially against the main Ectric deck. And the answer is probably not. Okay, that works. Actually, no. Let's go with Rough Seas. And I'll keep it in my hand. Palkia, attack Zubat! Aqua Turbo! Alright, two more. Beautiful. Red Eyes fully powered up. Actually, I just thought of something. As long as I don't equip an item to Regice, there's no way he can Lysander Regice and one-shot it with main Ectric. If I equip an item to Regice, then yeah. Well, and six of one, half a dozen of the other, because if I equip the Fighting Belt, then Regice will get 160 HP, which means main Ectra can only do 140, but, uh, of course, we've got Zubat now, so... Technically, it could still be a KO if he evolved it into Gold Battle Crobat. Resistance Blizzard! 70 points of damage, and it's gonna force Grandis to Lysander.
Oh, that is just wrong. Sorry, Palkia. Grandis takes an early prize card lead because of that. That is not pretty. Come on! Reg Eyes, get out there! Oh, jeez. Okay, so... Let's play the Energy Recycler. Elixir, I assume. Yes. Let's see something. Well, maybe he won't get the other two BS seekers. <laughs> Red Ice attack again! Xander! Or the VS Seeker! He's still got two VS Seekers that he hasn't played yet. Plus side here is that uh, he's now down to 15 cards. My turn. All right, another energy. Rough seas. And Red Ice is going to attack once more. Shaman were 
this deck's demise in this third and final match. Hey, on the plus side, I got two free breakpoint booster packs. Hey, guess there's a positive side to everything, right? <laughs> and that's all the time we have for you guys tonight. If you have any questions or comments, let us know. Make sure to follow us on all social media, at Toondice and using hashtag PTCGO. Until next time, I'm Scott, and I'm signing off and asking you to get in the game. Next, on an all-new Legend of Zelda Triforce Heroes. Scott, what are you doing? We were perfectly safe behind the thing. Well, I wanted to get on this side. Are you just leaving us behind? Yes. That's what you get. <laughs> uh. <laughs> no, no going forward. The Legend of Zelda Triforce Heroes. All new episode next, only on Toon Dice.